DJ Moore is on the Chicago Bears. He got traded to the Bears from the Panthers for, I think, a first-round pick and a couple other picks. And this is some training camp highlights of him in the Bears uniform. And he's, you know, just insane. He's uh, Justin Field has a, a number one receiver that he can rely on who can make great catches in traffic. And he's a deep threat. He's just an all-around good receiver for, and exactly what Justin Fields needs. And he's young, too. So the Bears have a squad. They're going to a young squad that, 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 that has a lot of potential. So let's see how they perform in Madden franchise. All right, so this is what the squad looks like. Justin Fields is a 76. Uh, we have Cole Komet and Robert Tunyon, two solid tight ends. And offensive line does need a little bit of work, but I think they could potentially be a bit better, honestly. Um, I think they'll be able to hold it down in terms of uh, pass pro. But we don't. Our running back situation is very poor. We have De Deontay Foreman, Khalil Herbert, Roshan Johnson, and Travis Homer. Receivers, though, we got Chase Claypool, Darnell Mooney, and DJ Moore. A solid receiver for core for Justin Fields. And then defense isn't too bad either. I mean, their D line definitely needs some improvement. But I think they could be able to get the job. They'd be able to get the job done. I think these guys have a lots of potential. Corners definitely, I'd say, would need improvement. But I think they'll be able to work. I think they'll be able to work. And linebackers aren't too bad either. TJ Edwards is up here. Um, D-line is a little weak, though. I, I can't lie. D-line is a little bit weak. I'm thinking that... Um, let's see what picks we have, actually. I know we traded away picks for because we got DJ Moore. So what picks would we happen to have? We have one, two, three, four, five, and a seven. Okay. Interesting. So we still have picks. So if we were to trade like a third rounder for a solid D-tackle, right? They got Daquan Jones, Puna Ford on the Bills, DJ Jones here, Dalvin Thompson's on the Browns, Lee Kai Fotu, Austin Johnson. I'm just trying to see if there's any position, like Grover Stewart and Defoe are both 28 years old, so that doesn't really help us out. And Osa Digazua is in his first year of his contract, so we might have to leave the defense alone, let them, let them do their thing, but I'm thinking that of how given how like strong or how weak the d line is because we want some part of the offense to be like a focal point so not seeing anything here or seeing anyone worth trading for maybe a right end maybe we actually do need that right end position instead so uh, maybe we could get a right end that fits our scheme i think it was a right end or a left end hold on let's see what position it was i think it was a left end that we needed because it was like a 72. It was like the lowest overall. So Travis Gibson, I have I see potential in him, but Rasheem Green, I want a different left end. So Harrison Phillips would be a nice addition to the squad. If we gave him next year's third rounder for him, they're like, nah. Okay, so how about a third round of this year? Would a third round of this year work for Harrison Phillips? Wow, they're actually not interested in doing that. How about Sam Hubbard? No. Bills have Leonard Floyd, Boogie Basham, and Greg Rousseau. So they're they're stacked. They are literally stacked over there. Sebastian Joseph Day wouldn't be a bad option for the team. But I do want to see if we get maybe a higher overall, perhaps. So Zach Seiler's sitting here. We can give him a next year's. Maybe hopefully next year's fourth could possibly work for him. I think he'd help us out a lot. Nope, that doesn't work. How about next year's third? That's how high I'm willing to go. A third of next year. And a, let's do a seventh of this year for Zach Seiler. Perfect. So we get a new DN to come uh, anchor that edge. At least the D-line isn't too, too bad, you know. And um, I don't want the offense to be a West Coast spread. I think that's very, excuse me, stupid. Because Justin Fields is a scrambler and a supervisor. Like, why are we running a West Coast spread? So... Let's let's change that up to scrambling offense just so Justin Fields can have more more things he could do, more things at his disposal. So at his disposable. So we're gonna change it to spread offense. Now it will tailor towards better for Justin Fields and DJ Moore, which is exactly what we want. And well, I think we gotta get a new running back because or we gotta sign some because this is this is I don't like what I'm looking at there. <laughs> that just doesn't look good to me. That does not look good to me. And I think I'm going to also sign... Yeah, so let's see what free agents they got for running back and D-tackle. And we're going to see how this first season goes. Dalvin Cook. 
Dalvin Cook's a free agent. That's interesting. Let's say, you know, they're looking for a running back. They're just like, anything would work. They just signed Kareem Hunt. I think that could happen. They signed Kareem Hunt to a one-year deal. He gets to be the lead back while splitting carries. Same situation he'd be in. And then for D-tackle, I think that um, signing someone with experience would be a thing. But honestly, it might leave it alone. So, we'll just sign a cream hunt. Let's see how... Oh, we got to cut a player. Ooh, <laughs> let's see what that player could be. So, we're actually 4-3. and three. The Cowboys are 5-2. and two, And we have a big matchup. They're still offering trade offers for Robert Tunyon. I mean, I'm keeping him for for sakeable future. But, and there's no... Packers give us Anthony Averett, Isaiah McDuffie, and Jake Hansen, Yannick Ngakwe, Raheem Mostert in seventh. Lots of interesting picks here, but honestly, we're good. We don't need any of them. We don't need any of them. So we're going to keep Tunyon. And, um, all right. So four and three is not bad, you know. I think, I hope Justin Fields is doing well with being the QB1. Of course, hopefully he's not too much pressure on him. Cooper Cup already has 1,000 yards, and we're like six games in. Nice nice <laughs> Leonard Floyd has 13 sacks coming off the bench our offense is ranked seventh Justin Fields is seventh in passing touchdowns nice and our defense is ranked 29th 15 touchdowns three picks for Justin Fields that's amazing all right so he's going off DJ Moore is doing his thing Cole Komet Darnell Mooney Chase Claypool all right so awesome we got people doing their thing defense is taking a bit of a hit though you are not really getting much but Kind of kind of was expected, kind of was expected. But we're going to see how we fare against the Cowboys, see how Justin Fields and DJ Moore look together as the one and the two. So here we got Justin Fields taking a field to score against the Cowboys. Cream Hunt's wearing number 17. DJ Moore, wide open, good catch. All right, all the way down to the four-yard line, we'll take it. He's four for four, 58 yards. All right, we're going to see if we can run an option here. <laughs> I hope we don't get hit while running this, but boom. Oh, yeah, too easy. Justin Fields, get off of him. He scores. Let's go. All right, so let's see if our defense can hold on. Looks like our offense was able to score. Third down. Okay, they scored two. Looks like we're going down the field. Okay, we're scoring on these guys, but they're scoring right back on us. Looks like the Cowboys might take the lead here. They do. Okay, looks like we're going down the field. Oh, we were. And they scored twice. Ah, looks like they took over. Yeah, they definitely took over. But we were going to end up losing this game by a touchdown. Okay, I can't complain. I can't complain. I feel like we, we fared pretty well. This is a top-tier team, but we we did we scored. We scored. Damn, Dak had four touchdowns, so Dak had a field day. Justin Fields didn't throw an interception, so that's what matters. Uh, Justin Fields had two rushing touchdowns, and Kareem Hunt had one, so not bad rushing attack. Receiving-wise, not the greatest, not the greatest. Defense definitely probably got exposed. Noah Sewell got a, got a sack, but no turnover, so not a bad game. I'm not mad about that. So now, if us sitting 4-4, four four, second round division, let's sim all the way to the end of the season and see if we become playoff contenders. Uh, we ended up finishing 8-9. and nine. Us losing to the Vikings. Oh, no, we beat the Vikings. Made us finish third in the division. Ah, you know, let's let's see. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. I mean, yes, we lost, but let's see if any guys led in any category. So, no, we had no one that led in any category there. Offense finished 20th. See, Justin Fields was doing so well. He was had 15 touchdowns when we were there, and then I sim, and then it's just game over. 27 touchdowns, 10 picks, 4,000 passing yards, got sacked 30 times. It's not bad. 98 passer rating is not bad at all. Like, definitely way better with him throwing the ball. We needed him to definitely run the rock more. DJ Moore had 1,000 yards, so not a bad first season for him. But these guys have playoff aspirations, of course. The defense, I think, was the biggest letdown. We had six and a half sacks from both of our DNs, but we needed more for sure. But Justin Fields, not not bad. I mean, four, 27 touchdowns, 10 picks. That's probably his best season yet. So I can't really be too mad about that. DJ Moore, another 1,000-yard season, as expected with his consistency. But... I don't know. I feel I felt like we could have done more. Could have definitely done more. I think in real life they might actually have a better. They might compete way better with um in the NFC North. Now that Aaron Rodgers is gone, it might be. I think it's still up for grabs. You know, so Super Bowl this year is Bengals and Commanders. Uh, Pro Bowl roster. We did not make the Pro Bowl. Kareem Hunt though, he made it somehow. Like Kareem Hunt made it. Okay, that makes sense. DJ Moore didn't make it. 
All right, I guess that I guess that's okay. Uh, anybody, any defenders make it? Let's see. TJ Edwards somehow made it, and so did Jalen Johnson. So we had a couple Pro Bowls. So we had a couple guys play really well. We definitely had a couple guys play really well, and that's good to see. But still didn't make the playoffs. But I have high hopes for the Chicago Bears. And the Commanders ended up beating the Bengals 49 to 20. And we had nobody win any awards. So there you have it.